Did you do anything yet, Will? It's a lot of pressure, Mike. Okay. I feel dead inside. So I get into the work room, it's our first day, and the night before, Michael tells me, like, nobody likes me here. Everybody said, gone home. As much as you don't want to think about it, or you, as much as you don't want that if, to affect you, it does. I've given up. I'm at that point where I just don't want to work. It's just like, I don't want to work. And so I take the day off, basically. I know if I put my hands on something and I don't want to work, I'm going to end up having to backtrack and make everything completely over. Hi guys, Hello, How are Georgina, you? is that you? <laughs> Georgina came in the first day. I was in my chair, like sitting like this, totally like dropping the F-bomb in front of Georgina and like whatever, you know, like I was over it. And she said, well, Mondo, how do you feel right now? Mondo, you look like you've had enough. I'm just tired of people telling me what I'm capable of doing mm -hmm. and expecting things from me. And it's just like, I'm not happy right now. Mm -hmm. I have been to the worst places before my collection. It's terrible. I, used to, I never used to sleep. As I learn and, and do more and more collections, then now I've learned not to have the breakdowns. Right. And, but then I got worried that if I don't have a breakdown, am I going to be as creative? She's like, just take whatever you're feeling right now and put that into your work. This whole process to this point has made me completely crazy. And then I was like, I think I need therapy. And so I started thinking of my final collection as this idea of therapy. So it really did become this whole cohesive collection that was really based on something so negative that turned into this really amazing collection. Mm -hmm.